we going? Okay. Uh, this is Mike Griffith from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution and SEC Country, and I'm here with uh, Austin Pope from, uh, well, we're in Sevierville. We're at your home in Sevierville, but uh, he did play at uh, CAK of Knoxville. And I guess I want to start out with um, just your sports background. I mean, a guy your size, 6'4", 235. Uh, you played a lot of sports growing up, though. Uh, yes, sir. Started out playing uh, baseball real little. Um, then after that, played travel baseball till. Um, want to say freshman year, but when I was little, I still played football. So mm -hmm. let's see, I was six, seven years old, played AAU basketball, just did it all. Well, growing up, I mean, I'm sure, you know, like every other kid playing sports, you had dreams, but uh, you got a little more specific with your dreams. Your your freshman year, you wrote a letter. Yes, sir. T tell me about that letter. Um, freshman year in English class uh, over at Sevier County, our teacher told us to see where we'd be in four years from now. Mm -hmm. um, and I took that very literal, I guess you could say. <laughs> Uh, and I wrote specific things I wanted to achieve and where I wanted to be and um, the end goal was to end up playing for Walden University of Tennessee playing tight end there. Um, that's pretty much what I wrote in that paper. Yeah, now we are in Sevierville. Sevier County is the high school where Austin started. In fact, we're somewhere in the Smoky Mountains down a gravel <laughs> road and very near a lake, which uh, I don't know, I'll have to get the uh, map out to get out of here. <laughs> um, but but uh, you ended up going to CAK. And in, in fact, you, you've had a lot of things you've overcome, Austin. You've had some hardships in addition to changing schools. How have you been able to overcome that? And, and if you just talk about uh, what you've had to go through. Um, well, the only way I've actually overcome that is because my family and God. Uh, but actually, um, right when I transferred, uh, my dad had brain cancer, glioblastoma, most aggressive brain cancer that you can get. Um, he got that as, let's see, my freshman year, he had that. And then two years went by um, as I transferred to CAK and it got really bad. Um, kind of just paralyzed him. Uh, so me and my mom went out to Arizona to go for a different treatment, uh, um, just something different, give him a fighting chance. Um, and ended up not working out that well. Um, came back to Tennessee right before um, junior year started, and he ended up passing away August 9th. So I lost my dad right before school started, right before football season, lived with one of my friends for the most part that summer. It took me and didn't know him from Adam. Um, but that was just really hard, and then transferring schools, not really knowing anybody, that was extremely hard as well. Uh, but I mean, God and my family have pulled me through it. Yeah, and you know, you went to CAK, and I guess one of the first signs that, uh, that you made a good choice, I, from what I understand, the football team uh, went to your father's funeral, really brought you in, and then when you played there, you got to play a lot of different positions for, uh, for Coach Bradley. Uh, yes, sir, actually at that funeral, um, I really didn't know the team that well, and just from like morning workouts in the summer. Uh, but every one of them, every coach, and even students from CAK that didn't know who I was, showed up to that funeral, just lined up outside the church. It was, um, it was incredible. But yeah, over at CAK, I uh, played wide receiver, played slot wide receiver, um, played uh, wildcat quarterback, played linebacker, played free safety, played running back, uh, kickoff, punt, whatever you could, whatever you could do, I, I was doing it. Well, you got a lot of skills out of that, and of course, you had a former Tennessee coach, Mark Bradley, was one of the assistant coaches to Rusty, right? So you, you have played for a coach that's won a national title. I've got to think uh, there were some, certainly some benefits for playing for a guy like that. Oh yeah, Mark's a great guy. I mean, helped me through a million different things from schoolwork to um, techniques and things I should be, and also um, build me up when I need to be built up and um, tear me down when I needed it, um, getting, on my, getting on my boat whenever I needed it to. Um, so he's been uh, a great influence in my life. Now, because of you, you missed some camps that, that summer that your father was ill, and uh, you know, even your junior year, really recruiting didn't really take off for you until later. You ended up with a lot of offers, though. Um, what were some things that stood out for me? I mean, I see offers from Nebraska and Pat Narduzzi at Pitt, and then, of course, the SEC. I mean, how would you characterize your recruiting process? Um, crazy. Uh, I guess since I got into it so late, I would say, in my mind, mm -hmm. um, it was, de it was just insane. I mean, uh, I was talking to coaches over Twitter and they told me to call them and I was getting offers by the day. I mean, on my two week camp spree when I went to Mississippi State and Old Miss and, and Nebraska, Missouri, Tennessee, everywhere. Um, I remember Brett Bielema offered me and then Tennessee offered me the same day. Um, I woke up from, I woke up about to go to Old Miss camp and Louisville offered me that morning. So it was absolutely incredible, and it was just a great experience. A lot of dynamic figures that we're talking about here in, in a short amount of time for you, and yet Butch Jones is the one that you decided on. What was it about Coach Jones that let you know that was the right place for you? Um, well, being from Knoxville, I always kind of had a thing for the Vols. 
um, but just going to camp and um, he basically, him and Coach Elder, which he's at Eastern Kentucky right now, the head coach, but he was a, uh, the position coach for tight end at the time. Um, I loved being around them. They were with me the whole entire camp. I mean, at every single drill, they were telling me stuff that I could do better on critiquing me, but also things I did well and that stood out to them. Um, and then just being around that atmosphere and competing in Neyland Stadium and um, and having them tell me how they would use me and being around Coach Jones, he's just a ball of fire. And I mean, I love him to death. Yeah, that's what everybody said about Butch. And of course, now there's some expectations. You know, Tennessee won their last six games. I think the Vols are expected to win the SEC East Division as a minimum. What about your expectations? What are you going expecting at the University of Tennessee? Um, I don't really know what to expect yet. Uh, I just want to play on the field somewhere, regardless if that's special teams or if I come in and, and play slot receiver, play tight end um, with my hand in the dirt, it really doesn't matter to me if they switch me over to defense. I just want to be on the field somewhere. Okay, well, from Austin Pope's home here, uh, we are in Sevier, but somewhere in Sevier, somewhere in Sevier <laughs> County. Uh, literally looking forward to seeing you in Knoxville. This is Mike Griffiths from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution and uh, SEC Country.